Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to work with SVGs in Expo React Native. You can also do this in React Native, but you have to do some additional steps. So first off, I typically generate my SVG using Affinity um, software, but you can also use um, Inkscape. So there's this React Native SVG transformer, which allows you to do compile time transformation to an actual SVG file to make it a um, React Native component. So you can see that's just that import there. Um, this is the one that I'm going to be showing inside my application, just a little chilly. I'll import the SVG and then I'll be able to use that directly as a component and pass some properties to it. So if you go to this React Native SVG Transformer um, GitHub page, it gives you the instructions for setup. So first off, you're just going to need to install that React Native SVG library, which is pretty simple to install. It's just a command inside NP inside your terminal. So I've just go yarn add React Native SVG, and they'll go ahead and save that in my package.json and install the node module. Then there's another one I'm going to need, which is a dev dependency. So I've got that dash dash dev. And that one is the React Native SVG transformer. And what that does is actually converts your um, SVG into a format that's sort of able to be displayed by React Native. If you create a file with the metro config JS and this comp, um, this content, then it will um, allow you to do that transformation. So I'll just create my file, metro.config.js. You may have one already if you've got other things that rely on this metro config, in which case you're going to just want to add this additional code on in and sort of merge it with your existing metro.config.js. So now that I've got that code there, I'm just going to run an expo start and start my application. If I hit I, it will start opening in iOS. So now that the app's loaded, I can go ahead to my app.js and this is where I can make any changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my SVG. So I'm just going to call it Chili and that will be the name of the component and from, and I just specify the actual asset name, which is um, slash assets slash chili.svg. And then inside the um, view, if you go up, you can sort of see how you do it. You would go, just use it and specify. So I've done like that. I've imported my SVG and then I'm going to create my component with a width and a height. And I'll just rename that to Chili because I've named my component Chili instead of logo. You can see that there it's being used. And if I refresh that, okay, it's not showing on screen. So I'm just going to make it a bit bigger, make sure that it's actually like visible and not like hidden off to the side somewhere. Cool. So it's still not showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the actual SVG. What I'm doing is I'm looking to see if I can find any fill. So I'm not seeing any fills. So the default fill must be defaulting to white. So if I specify a color for the fill, there you go. You can now see that it's drawn out that um, chili from the SVG. And the good thing about SVGs and you, is you can sort of just change their height and they're just going to sort of scale to whatever size you want and they're not going to sort of lose their quality. So a good way to include like images in your application without blowing it out to ridiculous sizes, particularly if you need like really high definition. 
So now I'm going to inc include a more complicated um, SVG. So it's just a Scorpio sort of symbol that I designed. I'm going to remove that fill because I've got fill defined against different um, parts of the image. You can sort of see it showing up there. And as I increase the size, I'll be able to show you that um, the different scaling and how it sort of maintains its quality no matter what size you set it to. So that's it a bit bigger. And if I make it even bigger again, you can see that it's still keeping that good quality and it's not degrading the image quality by increasing the size. So you can do really good things here. So there's also another way that you can include SVGs inside your application. So if I go back, I'll go to the converting SVG um, files for React Native. So there's a tool called React SVGR, which basically you copy and paste your SVG file in and it converts it into a React Native component. So I'm just going to go ahead and open my file. I'm going to choose one. So that's my SVG paths, and that's what will make up my actual SVG. So I'll just copy that in, paste it, and it goes ahead and generates my React Native component. So if I just copy that across, I'll go ahead and create a new file. So what I'm going to want to do is create a new file for my component. So what I'm going to call it is just cookie.js. I'm just going to rename that to cookie. I'm going to go ahead and export that. And I'm just going to be able to include that uh, React Native component in the exact same way. There are actually some ways you can do replacement of attributes. So um, if you already had like a fill and it was green, I could change it to red, say. Um, you can read more about that in the documentation. I'll link to it. But if you want a separate tutorial on that, let me know. So what's happening here is it's having an issue finding my um, export. So I've obviously done a bit of a mistake here. So I'm just going to convert this to a more functional component here. How you typically see it, I've just got that export default function. And I'll copy and paste my SVG inside there, which is my um, React Native components. So that um, package I've imported defines some components SVG and path, which I can then use inside my React Native component cookie. Okay, you can see that my cookie's not showing. Once again, this is that fill issue that I had with the chili. 
So I'll just specify a color. And there you go, it's just appearing now. So I hope you've really enjoyed this tutorial today. I'm going to link the documentation and tools in the description and all my code will be available on GitHub. Please like and subscribe for more content like this.